Okay, for problem number three, it says in exercise two, if the 35 Newton force acted downward at an angle of 40 degrees relative to the horizontal, what would be the acceleration in this case? Okay. So let's, we kind of almost have to review problem number two to figure out what problem number three is. So if we back up to problem number two, and I'm just going to go real quick, it says two forces act on a five kilogram. A, a object sitting on a frictionless horizontal surface. One, for, one force is 30 newtons in the positive x direction, and another is 35 newtons in the negative x direction. So I've got an object here, and this object has a mass. And so we're applying a force in this direction, okay, because this is the positive x direction. And then uh, and that force is 30 newtons, right? And then we're also applying a force this way, that's a little bit larger in the negative x direction of 35 newtons. Now notice out of habit, I automatically made that 35 newtons what? Negative. So then it says, what is the acceleration of the object? Well, it's got a negative five. Here, it's, it's negative five newtons, newtons, right? But what's the acceleration? Because newtons is a force. So then you put the five force over. Yeah, so what we need to understand and know is, is that, that a force, this is a force, and the force, remember that a force is equal to the mass of an object times the acceleration, and this said that the object was 5 kilograms. So if I say I know that the force of the object that's being applied is equal to the mass times the acceleration, and they're asking me what is the acceleration, what do I do? Well, no, 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 back up. I need to rearrange this to solve for acceleration. So it's really the force divided by the mass that gives me the acceleration. Well, this is the force, and the mass is 5 kilograms. Now, here's the thing that I want to point out. Newtons is always the force. In other words, the, the unit for force is newtons. But newtons is kilogram meters per second squared. You guys know that? Think about that. What is, what is mass? Kilograms, right, times what is acceleration? Meters per second squared. That's equal to newtons. So sometimes they'll give you grams, and you got to convert it to kilograms. Sometimes they'll give you time in hours or minutes. You've got to convert it to seconds or seconds squared, however they frame the question. And so you got to make sure that when you're doing these problems that you have the proper units. Otherwise, your answers will be off. So what is this? Negative 1 meters per second <coughs> squared. That's the acceleration. So this object is accelerating 1 meter per second in the negative direction. Does that make sense? So now to do problem number three. Problem number three says, what happens if that force is applied, a 35 Newton force is applied downward at an angle of 40 degrees relative to the horizontal? Well, now that's a trickier situation. Okay, That one's a little different. So first, I drew the picture. And I'm giving you guys a chance to kind of get caught up. Um, but what we need to do is when we... We've got to get the x and y components of the force to understand So if I redraw this picture, I've got five kilograms here. okay? And we said that we had 30 newtons in this direction, but now 35, instead of going this way like it did before, now we want to draw at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal. So now it's got to go like this. And we're applying 35 newtons. But now here's an interesting thing. Should it say above or below the horizontal? Downward. <laughs> In problem number two, it says it was sitting on a frictionless horizontal surface. So I'm not quite sure how this would work, and I'm not sure if the authors of the textbook thought about this, but this is our surface. I'm going to pull down on this thing. Is it going to go down? No. Not unless it's my binder of notes. Okay. So which direction is this thing going to move in? Well, it can't go it's, it's got to move horizontally, basically. It's got to move left or right. And so I need to figure out the x component of this force. 
So I've got to figure out what this is. How do we do that? We did it before in chapter 3. Isn't that... Well, we learned in chapter 3 that v, v sub x is equal to V cosine of theta. But now I want to figure out the force. So if I want to figure out the force in the x direction, wouldn't that just be the magnitude of the force times cosine of theta? Now, the only other thing that we got to think about is this, our x, whatever this value is, it's going to be going in the negative x direction. So I'm going to put a little negative sign there. Okay. So help me plug in the rest of this. So this is going to be equal to negative 35, right, times cosine of 40. Okay. That's what this is. If you plug that in your calculator, what do you get? Well, I'll do it on my calculator. Wait, you get your calculators out. I want you to do this with me. Um, yeah. So if I go, let me let me quit this and go and clear this. If I hit negative 35 times cosine of theta, which is 40 degrees. Now it says 40 degrees. So what should I double check in my calculator? If you are on degrees. Yeah. If I'm in degree mode, I happen to know for a fact I'm in radian mode because I taught pre-calc last hour and I did talk about that specifically. So now, when I plug this in, I get negative 26.81, okay? So over here, this force is negative 26.81 something, right? So now, what's the overall force? I have a force going in this direction of 30, and a force going in this direction, and it's not moving up or down. And I believe the question even says, what is the horizontal acceleration? What would be the acceleration in this case? 3.19 roughly. So what I'm basically I'm going to say 30 minus 26.81 up, and it's approximately 3.19 newtons, right? Because this is in newtons, this is in newtons, this whole thing is in newtons, right? So is that a negative or positive? So now which way are we going? Yeah, so now I'm going this way, 3.19. But the question doesn't want to know the force. What's the question asking? The acceleration. The acceleration. So now how do I find that? Well, remembering that the force is equal to the mass times the acceleration, and since I'm being asked to find the acceleration, I see that the force divided by the mass of the object is equal to the acceleration. I know that the net force divided by the mass is equal to the acceleration. So my net force is 3.19 divided by 5. So it's 3.19 newtons divided by 5 kilograms. What's that? About 0.64. 0.64, yeah, roughly. It's, it's about 0.64, positive 0.64. So the acceleration is about... Um, meters per second in the positive direction. Does that make sense? Are there any questions on that one? <laughs>